Imagine going around pretending that the John Fetterman performance was normal. Imagine that. Here's a montage um, that one of the Salem News Channel folks put together. The uh, Some of the more memorable moments from the debate that everybody keeps talking about. And the reason, of course, everybody is talking about it is because it's so shocking that it actually happened, that this actually occurred, and then the left pretended that it was normal, that everything was okay, and then they intensified attacks against Mehmet Oz, who was a complete gentleman. He did not take any cheap shots at Fetterman, who was clearly incapable of even being on that debate stage. If you, if you haven't been following this, here's a little Salem News Channel montage of the, uh, the shocking moments in the John Fetterman, Dr. Oz debate in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, night before last. Hi, good night, everybody. You know, he has never met an air, uh, uh, an oil company that he doesn't swipe right about. So, it's yeah. about supporting and helping, you know, young earners, excuse me, young, uh, young, uh, young, you know, students to, to give them a break. I believe that, that supporting, uh, uh, I, I, I do support fracking. And I don't, I don't, I support fracking and I stand and I do support fracking. I believe China is not our friend and I believe that we can't be able to push back. Our next star poll shows 51% of Pennsylvania voters disapprove of the president's job performance. You have publicly supported many of his policy positions. Are there any that you disagree with? 30 seconds. No, I, I just believe he needs to do more about supporting uh, and fighting about in, in, inflation. Going to those kind of vocational schools, being able to create a career to to weigh, to excuse me to wane, uh, reach a lot of a uh, high salary, and again supporting to reduce those costs are critical too. His family's company was it was set, levied the largest fine for immigration hiring of of, of immigrate uh, illegals. Again. This is unprecedented. We've never seen anybody run for office at this level in this condition. Here was Britt Hume's take. Britt Hume over at Fox News has been around a long time. And uh, he, he, he was on TV last night telling Brett Baer he's never seen anything like it. Well, I've been watching this and covering this stuff for more than a half a century, and I've never seen anything like uh, that performance by Fetterman last night. You know, I'm hearing some commentary in his defense that says, look, you know, he's just going to be elected to the Senate, and the only thing that matters in the Senate is whether you can sit on the Senate floor and vote aye, uh, yay or nay. But anybody who's ever covered the place knows there's a lot more to it than that. You have to be able to debate on the Senate floor, to, to advance your points, to defend them. The same is true if you're called upon to offer amendments. Say you have a, an amendment to a bill that's very important to your constituents. You've got to be able to make the case for it in committee. You've got to be able to defend it. You've got to do the same thing on the Senate floor. Uh, you have to be able to engage your colleagues outside the Senate chambers and outside the hallways of the, and uh, outside in the hallways and in their offices to round up support for what you're doing. All of those things are things that John Fetterman, based on what we saw last night, is not now capable of doing. It's pretty striking. Beyond striking. Okay. Now, if it, as if that wasn't bad enough, how about leftists and people so desperate and afraid that there's going to be a, a big red wave in 12 days that they went into overdrive attacking Dr. Oz, who, again, if you watch the debate, was an absolute gentleman, was gracious. Not one time did he mock or, 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 or denigrate Fetterman's clearly impaired condition. Listen to one of these shrews over on ABC's The View, one of the worst of the bunch, Sonny Hostin. It's really strange. It was really strange to me that he chose to bully a stroke victim. Yeah, exactly. right. Like he obviously was bullying him, and um, you know I don't think the people of Pennsylvania or the people in general um, liked that because Fetterman raised one million dollars after that debate, and I think it takes real courage to show that you've been knocked down. I think it takes real bravery to allow people to see your weakness, right? Hey! Yay! It was very obvious that how? 
Give one example. Oh, well, Dr. Jonathan Reiner, a professor of medicine and surgery at George Washington University, said, hold my beer, Sonny. I, I'm a doctor, and I can tell you why Oz was cruel. Get ready for this explanation. Uh, I take care of, of people like Mr. Fetterman who have had atrial fibrillation, which is where we think his stroke came from, where, how it originated. Uh, and I admire his courage to go on that debate last night. He had to know that he was facing basically a, a fast-talking TV doctor who at times seemed to be talking almost intentionally faster in the face of Mr. Uh, Fetterman's difficulty speaking. Almost, sometimes it appeared almost cruelly faster. Uh, he had to know that he would uh, get the kind of uh, reception that, that he got from that. Um, and you know, turn it off. Turn it off. I can't. I can't listen to any more of it. Who had <laughs> he was, Dr. Oz was speaking fast. He was intentionally being cruel. But you cannot make this crap up. That guy ought to be fired right now. His boss said, wait a minute. Uh, Dr. Jonathan Reiner, professor of medicine and surgery at George Washington University. You went on Jake Tapper on CNN and claimed that Oz was cruelly bullying Fetterman because of the way he speaks? Oh, because he was articulate? And he spoke quickly? And that was being cruel? What's he supposed to do? Uh, hello, Dr. F uh, uh, Mr. Fetterman. My name is Mehmet Oz. That's O-Z to you. Is that what he was supposed to do? Professor Reiner? I've got two questions for you. Number one, loyal listener. Number one, give one example of Oz being cruel to John Fetterman. Just one. Number two, what about John Fetterman is impressive? His hoodie selection? That his tattoos are, are, aren't misspelled? What's impressive about John Fetterman? N name one thing. Is it that radical belief that criminals need, that murder people need to be freed? What do you like about him? Chasing the black guy down with the shotgun when he was the mayor of Braddock? Holy moly.